This video is about spectra, um, specifically the difference between absorption and emission spectra and how to calculate differences in energies between energy levels. So a line spectra is um, an observed pattern that we get when we shine light um, through an element um, and observe the light that is either absorbed or emitted from shining it through that element. Now the element can either be as in the gas state or in the solid state. Um, if it's in the gas state then you tend to get line spectra um, typical of emission spectra or absorption spectra um, because we have very discrete energy levels because the molecules in the gas are spread out. In the um, solid state the energy levels um, overlap and so this provides a continuous spectra to sometimes be produced. So an absorption spectra is when we have dark lines corresponding to the energy levels within an atom and with a background of a continuous spectra, so all of the different colours. And an emission spectra is when we get those individual coloured lines and we get black background. So if we look at some energy levels as an example, we'll call them A, B, C and, uh, a, B and C. <clears throat> If we were talking about an absorption spectra, what's happened there is we are raising an electron from an energy level, so n equals 1 to the ground state, we are raising it to the next energy level, okay, or potentially the one above, but it must be to a discrete energy level, it can't be somewhere in between. So what's happened here is a photon of light is absorbed Okay, by the electron which provides it enough energy to reach the next energy level. So that would be an absorption. Now with emission it's different. Basically where we are now is we have an electron that for whatever reason is in an excited state and therefore as it drops back down to a lower energy level then it's that process of dropping back down that then emits a photon which we then see as our coloured lines on our black background. So these coloured lines correspond to very specific frequencies and very specific energies and wavelengths. So, for example, um, if we take our absorption spectra and we consider this energy gap here from uh, B to C to be equivalent to uh, 177 nanometers, and if we consider this energy gap from uh, C to A to be 95 nanometers, now you might think, well, that doesn't make sense because this number's smaller. You must remember that energy is inversely proportional to wavelength. So we have the equation that we're going to use quite often in this. Energy is equal to HC over lambda. So in terms of proportionality, E is inversely proportional to lambda. So a smaller wavelength corresponds to a higher energy. So the question could be, if I know the energies of each of these, so for example, if this is uh, 16 electron volts, okay, or minus 16 because the electron's trapped within the potential of the atom, uh, and this could be 9 electron volts, the question could therefore be, well, what energy does uh, energy level A have? That does not necessarily have to be the energy of zero, where it reaches the ionization energy because this diagram may not be complete. So the way we'd go about tackling this problem is we have to take away um, the energies of the two levels. So it's going to be the difference in uh, wavelength between the two is going to be equal to HF which is equal to HC over lambda. Um, so that corresponds to the energy between them. So We've been given an energy here for the entire um, transition. So what we need to do is we need to take away the energy of 95 nanometers and take away from that the energy corresponding to 177 nanometers. So if I put this into my equation hc over lambda, h being Planck's constant, c being the speed of light, I will get an energy corresponding to 2.8 times 10 to the minus 18 joules. If I do the same thing with my 177 nanometers, I'll get an energy of 1.12 times 10 to the minus 18 joules. So that is a difference 
okay, in energy um, corresponding to 0 0.96 times 10 to the minus 18. So now that I've got my energy, I can rearrange um, my equation um, to give me uh, a value for lambda, if that was what I wanted, or I could give it for frequency, since I know the energy of that gap. All I'm interested in here, though, is knowing what electron volt that corresponds to. So if I divide this, if I divide this energy level E, um, if I divide E by the energy of an electron volt, which is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19, then I will get an answer of 6. So that means that the energy level here is 6 electron volts. So there's lots of potential manipulations we can do here, calculating frequencies or wavelengths or energies. And it's being very, ex the need is to be explicit both, and firstly about definitions, the relationship between energy and frequency and energy and wavelength, the difference between absorption and emission. Notice the direction of the arrow is being different, corresponding to absorption of energy and therefore gain in the energy levels or dropping down energy levels and therefore emitting energy and how to calculate the differences between them.